Now to Spain, where authorities in the northeast of the country have declared a drought emergency for the city of Barcelona and surrounding areas, as Catalonia suffers its worst ever drought. Around six million people are facing tight water restrictions as a three-year dry period shows no sign of ending. After being submerged for more than 60 years, this medieval church reappeared. It is now a symbol of three years of drought that have parched Catalonia. The lack of rain has brought reservoirs to record low levels. The drought is evident across the region. The ski resorts open this winter have little snow on the slopes. A very critical situation. Very critical because if there is no snow, if it doesn't rain and there is no thaw, the reservoirs, instead of growing, get smaller and smaller. A campaign to reduce water waste started months ago. The government explained how critical the situation has become. It detailed the unprecedented measures triggered when water reserves dropped below the 16% threshold. The new measures will affect citizens and businesses. Swimming pools, including those used by hotels and campgrounds, cannot be refilled. Only sports centers can refill them if they reduce their total amount of water consumption. Many have already prepared for the restrictions. The main measures are the showers, lowering the pressure in the showers, the duration of the showers, how the hot water reaches the showers, limit that time as much as possible. In a few towns fully dependent on wells, Taps have been shut off for some months. A father of three explains the headaches involved. Imagine cleaning, washing clothes, cooking. You can't wash dishes, you can't wash clothes. And I'm not even going to stay washing machine. You can't even pee because there's no water. If rain clouds don't show up, water restrictions will keep getting tighter. While many fear things will get even worse this summer. Let's pick this up with DW reporter at Laura Ruiz Troils, who filed that report, and DW climate correspondent Luisa Osborne. Oh, welcome uh, both. Uh, Laura, we were just hearing that the poor man can't even pee. It's really bad. He means that he cannot flush uh, the, the bathroom I think anymore. We got that. <laughs> but indeed, it's been uh, many months without rainfall now. And uh, up until the moment, it was only a few towns with these severe restrictions. But what changes now is that more than 6 million people will be affected because it's areas close to Barcelona and close to Girona that will be affected. Um, the government has decided to, to, to move to the phase one of these emergency uh, plans. And this includes a series of measures. Let's look at it. Citizens will be allowed to access 200 liters per day. This is more than the average consumption, but will affect shops and small businesses too. Other measures vary across sectors. The worst affected is agriculture because crop irrigation will be re reduced by 80%. Livestock activities will have a 50% cut. Industry is a 25% reduction, and then recreational facilities such as amusement and water parks, a 25 cut. So it's a wide range of measures. And just uh, to give you uh, an idea of the environment in Catalonia, I realized how serious the situation was when I went to Barcelona over Christmas. I arrived to the airport and the first thing I saw was a big billboard telling me we are experiencing a severe drought. Please be aware of the water mm -hmm. use that you do. OK, so Louise, this is all your fault. Um, why are we seeing this long dry spell? Well, I mean, this is one of the impacts of climate change that we're seeing. So uh, climate change is obviously le leading to higher temperatures. We're seeing heat waves that are longer and hotter. And this means an evaporation of water from the ground, um, which uh, is then, you know, in the air. Unfortunately, in some regions, it's not then falling as rainfall. And so we are seeing more frequent and worse droughts as a result, particularly in regions like the Mediterranean. 
Right. I'm just just thinking that, that that this goes beyond just this region, though, doesn't it? Because I, I know that for the the last year, two years, we've seen um, agricultural products out of Spain. The price is going through the roof because of this. Mm -hmm. um, tell us more about how people are reacting. Yeah, the south of Spain, Andalusia, is also experiencing a similar situation, quite bad. People, uh, we will see now when a lot of people will be affected, what happens. There has been a lot of preparation. The government is talking about collective effort. They are thanking for the patients and um, that everybody understands that it's quite severe. And many have been preparing themselves. For example, hotels have changed the water in their pools to salty water. Some farmers have decided to cut down the number of fruits they, they produce that need a lot of water, tomatoes, watermelons. Let's see, once you cannot turn on your tap uh, at, at home or you go to your sports center and you cannot take a shower, it might get a bit more tense. Yeah. So, uh, Louise Osborne, tell us then about some of the technical solutions that there are to this. So there are some technologies that are all being, already being used in the region. Uh, desalination is one of them, for example. Um, this is where the salt is taken out of seawater and can be used for drinking or for agriculture. The problem with it is that it's energy intensive, so the electricity used for it um, is then contributing to the problem, really, by... Uh, you know, pushing more CO2 out into the atmosphere. Um, and it's expensive. There are other technologies as well, like artificial intelligence, which are helping to manage water better so that farmers, for example, know exactly which plants need water so that they can save more. Right. So uh, no more rain uh, predicted? Not for February and... The more we approach summer, the more difficult it gets. So we might see tighter measures in some months. OK, thank you so much uh, for talking us through that. Uh, Laura Ruiz-Troyols and uh, Louise Osborne. Uh, thank you both.